Hey readers, um, thanks for checking this video out. Um, I thought I would put together a quick how-to on the assignment for Thursday. Um, it seemed a little bit easier than trying to write out all the directions, so I thought I could just kind of walk you through what this assignment looks like. Um, this assignment for today is kind of an overall review of the things that we've been working on related to nonfiction text structure. Um, so a couple things before we begin. Please look when you start in the upper right corner of yours. Make sure that if you haven't already, you push that button that says edit so that you're able to work with the um, keynote. The second thing is you'll notice that my screen is turned like sideways the long way. Um, it needs to be that way because otherwise if you have it up and down, you won't see all these little boxes over here on the right and left side of the slides. And you'll need to do that because those are the boxes that you'll be dragging in to fill in this chart in the middle. So let me show you how to get started. Um, first, we have listed over here the different text structures that we've been working with. Description, compare and contrast, order and sequence, problem and solution, and cause and effect. Um, so the, in the first empty column, we want to look for the definitions of these types of text structure. So these boxes on the right and left sides um, have all the information that you'll need to slide in. When we're looking for definitions, we're looking for things that say something like this. Let me pull in an example. The author provides readers with chronological events or a list of steps in a process. So this is giving me a definition for one of the text structures. I know the word chronological means like time, and if we're thinking of steps in a process, that sounds like it's the definition for order and sequence. So there you go, I already gave you one answer, okay? So any of the ones that are gonna go into their, under the definition column will be ones that say like, this is what the author does. The second column, visual, now those are for some of the graphic organizers that we've been looking at for the past like week. Um, those are the picture ones. So I'll pull one over, here's one. And when I look at this visual, I notice that there's a question and then like a light bulb. This to me kind of uh, makes me think of problem and solution. Like a question, I'm not too sure about something, that's a problem, and then a light bulb, like an idea or a solution. There's answer number two for you already. Um, the last one, clues. Now those are more like some of those clue words or key words that help you determine which type of text structure it is. Um, we've been talking about some of those, you've been highlighting some. I'm gonna pull one of those examples in here. Um, here's some clues. Some You might see in the text adjectives, so describing words, characteristics, examples, mental images, these kind of clues here make me think of a description passage where let's say our description was of, I think you read yesterday or the day before about black widow spiders. So you might have seen in that passage adjectives to describe the spider, characteristics of the spider, examples of different things the spider does, mental images of what the spider looks like. So all of these things are like description ideas. Okay, so that's kind of to help you get started. There are all the other boxes you'll need are on the side that you can drag in to put in the rest of the definitions here, the visual graphic organizers here, and some clue or keywords here. After you're done with that, if you go to slide two, um, there are five very short passages about candy bars over on the right. So what you want to do is you just drag one over. I'm not going to give you any um, answers on this one, but I just want to show you how this works. So if you, after you drag a passage over, you just read through it. Then you think to yourself, okay, what kind of text structure does this sound like? And you bring it to the correct um, category, description, compare, contrast, and so on. And you'll do that with all five of these passages over here. Um, once you're done dragging all of the boxes on both slides one and two, um, you can submit this as a keynote, in, or I'm sorry, not a keynote, as a PDF in um, Canvas. And as you're reading, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask questions. Um, I'm happy to meet with you on WebEx or answer questions through the Canvas inbox. 
um, just let me know. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your day.